Hi everyone. If your Windows 10 or 11 PC fails to boot and you get the blue screen of death like in my case here, you may try the methods that I'm about to show you in this video to fix it. Although the root cause of the blue screen of death may vary, the three Windows repair utilities that I use in this tutorial are generally sufficient to fix many Windows startup problems. So when you get this blue screen, the first step that you need to do is to try to enter the Windows Recovery Environment or WinRE. So press the F1 key on the keyboard to enter the recovery environment. If you manage to get to the Windows Recovery Environment after pressing the F1 key, then it's already a good sign for you and you may proceed to step two. But if you fail like in my case here, then you will need to get a Windows 10 or 11 bootable DVD or USB flash drive to boot your PC into the recovery environment. So insert your Windows bootable media and then press the escape key on the keyboard to enter your UFI firmware settings. On your UFI firmware settings, boot your PC from the Windows bootable media. For my case, I'll boot it from my Windows 11 bootable USB flash drive. On the language, time, and keyboard options, simply click Next. Then on the following dialog, click Repair Your Computer, and you should be brought to the recovery environment. Depending on how you get to the recovery environment, your initial screen might be slightly different. All right, so now we are ready for the second step. And let's begin by clicking Troubleshoot. And then under Advanced Options, click Command Prompt. If you get to the recovery environment directly from the blue screen of death, your command prompt default directory will be Windows System 32. But if you get to the recovery environment using a Windows bootable media, then your working directory will be sources like my case here. Now type BCD edit, followed by a vertical bar, then find OS device, and then press enter to find out the Windows driver volume, which is usually the C drive. If the command returns OS device partition is equal to C drive, then you're good to go. But if the command returns nothing or something like what I get here, then we will need to use the dispart utility to find out the Windows volume and probably also to assign a temporary drive letter to it first. So now type dispart and then press enter. Then on the dispart prompt, type list volume to list all the disk volumes on your PC. So for my case here, my Windows drive is on volume one and not assigned a drive letter. If your Windows volume is already assigned a drive letter, take note the drive letter and you're good to go. If not, then you will need to assign a temporary drive letter first. To do that, first type select volume, followed by your Windows volume number, where for my case is one. Then type assign letter, equals sign C. Once you have successfully assigned a drive letter to your Windows volume, exit this part. Now we are ready for the third step, which is to scan your Windows volume for corrupted file systems using the system file checker or SFC utility. So type SFC slash scan now, followed by slash off boot dr equals c drive, and then slash off win dr equals c windows. Then press enter to start scanning. If the SFC finds any corrupted files, it will automatically attempt to repair them. Once the scan is finished, the SFC will tell you if it found any corrupted file system and whether it managed to fix the corrupted file, if any. Regardless of the SFC scan result, we should proceed to step four which is repairing the Windows drive using the check disk utility. So type CHK DSK followed by your Windows drive, and then slash R, and then press enter. This process may take a while, from several minutes to a few hours, depending on the size of your Windows drive, so please be patient. Once the check disk utility finished repairing your drive, we may continue to the last step, which is repairing the boot configuration data, or BCD, using the bootrec utility. So type boot rec slash rebuild bcd and then press enter once it's done restart your pc and see whether it can boot into windows normally all right so those are some of the general methods to fix the blue screen of death error on windows 10 or 11 i hope these methods fix your pc and thank you for watching